welcome to Ten Sisters TV. My name is Carmen Geddes and we are going to start a series of binding technique videos to share with you and I'm so excited. Binding the quilt is one of my favorite things to do and we are actually starting at the end of the whole process today and, and maybe we'll work backwards. What I want to show you today is how, how I like to close up the end of the quilt or sorry, yeah, clo close up the end of the quilt, close up the ends of my binding. There's lots of different ways to do this, and that's one of the things I love about quilting, and is that you can find a technique that you like. So I'm going to show you the way that I like to do it, and then you can see what you think. I'm going to put on some glasses for this. Okay, so what I like to do, here's our little, here's our little mini quilt, and it's all quilted, and then here are the ends of our binding. Now, this is where we would have begun sewing the binding on right here and typically I wouldn't want to be this close to a corner but if it's a project this little then that's how we'd have to do it. But I like to just find a place on one of the longer sides if it's a, if you have a longer side and I like to give myself probably at least eight or ten inches of a tail of binding before I start attaching it to the quilt. Sew it all the way around the quilt and then when I come back to the other end, again, I like to have, you know, probably eight, at least eight, ten inches of binding left. And so I've done some markings with a pen. You could actually do this with a, but I would uh, use, you know, water or air, iron away so pen. Um, I like to fold my bindings in half and press them, and we'll talk about that later. What we're going to do is we're going to take the left side, so I'm sitting in front, the quilt, is going to be coming towards me and this is the edge of my quilt and what I like to do is I take this binding and you want to open it up and lay it flat and you want to make sure that you don't have it twisted around um, generally because of the size of the quilt and just the size of this opening you're going to need to fold the quilt in um, it just it won't lay flat and let you do the next side so bring the quilt fold it all in sometimes you're going to have it all over your lap but that's okay so you lay this, and I'll lay it this way so we have a little bit more of a right angle so you can see it a little bit, what we're doing better. So you're laying this left side at, what's this, horizontally, and, oh, rewind. The first thing I do is I have the quilt, there, the binding on the quilt, and I fold it back. I thought, what's that blue line for? Oh, yeah. We're going to find the, we're going to fold this back. And even if you are not doing a bias binding, I leave a quarter of an inch space. And so when I fold one end of the binding back, I fold the other end of the binding back. You know, instead of connecting the two, I leave a full quarter of an inch space right there. Like I said, even if it's a straight grain binding, it actually, it just meets a lot better if you leave that space. Okay, then we open up this binding have this be at a right angle here, fold the quilt in, and then again you want to make sure that you're not twisting and you're going to, right where you did the fold here, you can either press it with the iron or you can um, put a mark there and then you're going to open up the binding on the right hand side and this line that I have drawn here is where I folded that quilt or that binding back. And so I'm going to put these two, this was the fold, and this was the fold, and I'm putting them at a right angle, just like this. And so the right side, that line goes right along the top of the binding here, and right along the edge here. And then I'm going to use a straight pin, and I'm going to pin it where I am going to sew it, because it doesn't matter how many times I've done this, it's always better for me if I pin it and then double check to see if this is actually where I want it to be. So then if I fold it open like this, I can say, okay, yes, when this is sewn, that's going to lay flat on the quilt. So I always double check before I sew. And so then you're going to just sew on this line right here. I do a little bit tighter stitch length, so probably between a 1.5 and a 2.0 stitch length, you're going to sew right on here and then you're going to trim this off with the scissors at a quarter of an inch seam allowance 
and then you'll bring it back and you're going to sew it onto your quilt and we'll cover that next time so come back and see us and join us for our binding class i'm really ex excited to show you some fun new techniques and so be sure to subscribe or like us on our 10 sisters tv channel and come and see us at 10sisters.com and thanks for coming to class today Thank you.